Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back. Glad to have you with us for another reaction video from the Beatles. We got Twist and Shout today. We did Help was the first video that we did from the Beatles. And uh, you enjoyed that introduction to, to Help? By yeah, the it was awesome. Yeah. And uh, we've also had another track uh, by John Farnham. We've been trying to get that up. It's, the, yes. it's another rendition of Help, which we really enjoyed. But we've been having some issues with the copyright. So hopefully at some point we get that uploaded. Sorry for you guys that have been requesting it and wanted to get that up. We have tried and we will hopefully have that yeah, up that for you. Yeah, that was awesome too. Yeah. So um, the back to the Beatles. Uh, Twist and Shout is a song that I'm definitely familiar with. I've heard it before. Um, growing up, my dad was a big Beatles fan. I mentioned that in the last video. So I've heard some of the songs, but I've never seen this performed live. So this will be my first time seeing them perform this live. And I really haven't seen much of them live at all. I mean... Clearly, I wouldn't have went to see them because I wouldn't have been born. But um, I have not seen like videos and stuff like that of them performing live. Yeah. So um, I feel like they they probably would have been really really great to see live with their harmonies and stuff like that. But uh, I've never seen this one before. Definitely not on the Ed Sullivan show. We saw Tom Jones, I think, was on the Ed Sullivan show. We watched uh, him doing a song on there. Yes, and, I believe so. And that was great, great performance. So, so good. interested to see what this kind of looks like. Um, and same so for you, Twist and Shout, what's your familiarity with the song? Uh, I, I assume probably not seen it live. but Definitely you know not what? seen it live. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I am thinking of the same song as what I think it is, or if I've heard the Beatles version of it. I might mm -hmm. have heard like another right. cover of it from later on. Okay. Um, yeah, so what did you like about it? the first song from Hell? Um, I just like I thought it was really unique to see I know like the Beatles have been this huge sensation massive right? and, <laughs> exactly right and I mean I never really got into them because my parents never listened right. to them right and um, nobody that I was around never really listened to yeah. them and I'd heard a little bit of them here and there like from your dad <laughs> um, but I had not heard that song so I just thought it was really cool to kind of see like what everybody what they loves about them right and I thought the music video was really cute and I thought that the um, you know the instrumentation was good their voices are really great and I love how they come to together yeah, yeah um, with all harmonies. the harmonies yeah, yeah exactly so. yeah one thing you guys had mentioned in that last song we'll get started in a second here one thing you mentioned about help in those comments which we always find really informative um, that I did not know was that John Lennon actually wrote that song mm -hmm. help meaning uh, he was cr kind of crying out for help in some ways that he was struggling with some things and it was actually not supposed to be an upbeat song and they changed it from the management side of things to make it more upbeat as a single and a hit and clearly it's become a hit wow. but um, it was actually intended to be more like the John Farnham version oh, okay. that we listened to that in that uh, uh, you more. Know, yeah, so no, I think slower. I think John actually really enjoyed the, the that version of it. So if I'm if I'm getting that correct, but cool. uh, so we always learn from those comments. So hit those comments again and let us know about the Beatles, some things that you might want us to react to. Um, probably in particular some live stuff because, like I said, I'm not familiar with it. There's definitely a catalog I'm not familiar with the Beatles as well. But uh, we always appreciate the recommendation. So just hit those comments if you enjoy this video. Like that, hit that like button. Not like the like button. Hit the like button. <laughs> And uh, come along for this journey that we're on because it's been fantastic and we'd yes. love to have you. All right, you ready? Let's twist and shout. Let's twist and shout.
so crazy. Oh Beatlemania in full effect. Like, crazy <laughs> fan. And it's also, a, you know, from what I know about them, they're so humble. And, you yeah. know, they were very down to earth. But you see people doing stuff. Like, wild. Going crazy for yeah. them. Yeah. Um, Ladies love them. <laughs> clearly, yes. And, uh, you know, as we talked about in the last video that we had, uh, same outfit, same haircut, you yeah. know, going on here. You've got John leading the way. And I think um, I was actually surprised to hear his voice with a little bit of raspiness in there that I actually quite enjoyed that you maybe don't pick up on the studio version of this. Yeah. Um, it sounds... definitely sounds different live. This is definitely the song that I thought it was. Yeah. Um, but I know it from the movie. I want to say, I could be wrong, but I think it's in Dirty Dancing. When oh, they're gosh. all at a party and they're like dancing together and stuff. <laughs> It's definitely, I feel like it's a dance song I for sure. I think it so. was, and I might be wrong, but I think it was Dirty Dancing. Either yeah. Dirty Dancing or, yeah, one of those type of Twist and show, yeah. right? <laughs> but um, this is definitely it. But yeah, it's really cool to hear them live because, like you said, to like hear their voices live and stuff, which is really neat. Yeah, and, um, you know, I think it's just, for me, it's cool to see this performance from 1964. And, you know, you hear about how popular the Beatles were yeah. and everything, but seeing that visual of how crazy the girls are going for oh, them. yeah. You know, you don't really see... I mean, of course, you know, there's going to be groupies and stuff in all kinds of music, right? And um, celebrities and all that kind of stuff. But you don't really see it in the same capacity today, I feel like, where... Probably because there's more celebrities, quote unquote, right? You have, you know, people on every social media platform. Yeah. You have, you know, your movie stars. You have your Netflix streaming stars. You have all these different areas where yeah. people are celebrities. There's way more famous people. So, the, like, the, the kind of the level of celebrity, I guess, is kind of yeah. smushed a bit. So, they were probably, you know, the biggest of the yeah. big at the, like that time. Wide yeah. And so, like, you couldn't. You know that back then it's the radio and the TV is the only way that you're seeing these people and stuff so yeah. getting to see them live and in person for them because they don't get to see any content or anything like that yeah. must have been so mesmerizing sure. and it must have meant for a great you know more of a um, more of an experience for you you know being sure. there and appreciating it live yeah. it's like once in a lifetime experience where you know now people go to these concerts and stuff you've got your phone out Oh and yeah, you're videotaping the whole time. <laughs> and you're not experiencing it. I know. So I think that's just cool to see this this live performance from them of how influential they were, and uh, you know probably well, the different like, experience also, that they I, had. I could be wrong. I don't quote me on this, but I think the Ed Sullivan shows in New York. Okay. So then they're the British, right? Right. Yeah. So like they're literally coming to be a performer, a star at True. a New York talk show or a New York show, right? Yeah, so. where they never get to see them. You know, exactly. it's like you know artists that uh, don't. You know, if we were living in Canada, that would never go to Canada. That adds yeah. a little more appreciation for them being there because you never get to see them, right? Yeah. So, very valid point. All right, you ready to finish it out with some twist and shit? All right. Twist and show. All right. I want to. I want to make sure you lead into that a little bit. It's a great part of the song. Take a little bow there yeah. at the end. They're so cute. Yeah, and like I said, I was really impressed with um, John's vocal um, because I think even himself, he said that he's been self-conscious about his vocal from what I've heard yeah. and that he didn't think he was a great singer. But cl I mean, clearly the evidence speaks for, oh, for itself of, of the Beatles being so successful. 
um, but I felt like he thought he was a better songwriter than he was a singer. But mm -hmm. I really enjoyed seeing that live performance from him. And like he I said, great it was, live. yeah, it was it was very very well done. So yeah, I thought it was awesome. It was really cool to see them live. And like I said, I don't really have much context to that song other than it like, being in a movie. So yeah, yeah, it's cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to "Twist and Shout" by the Beatles. You yeah. know what to do now? Hit those comments. Let us know what you thought and what you want us to do next. Leave us with a like on that little button there, and hit that subscribe button as well, and come along for this journey that we're on. All right, we'll be back soon with another one. See you guys in the next one.